can stay here I sleep to how you move it I can't stay here complacent anymore I can't stay here my heart is full of longing I can't stay here I meet you again under different circumstances. Somewhere in a quiet place in Southern Africa. <clears throat> As you can see, it's a wilderness where you see different kind of animals, the nature of God, the nature of God. Praise God. <clears throat> God values relationships. God values relationships. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ had 12 disciples. Our Lord Jesus Christ had 12 disciples. He values relationships. You and I do have relationships. God Almighty values our relationships. That is why he had 12 disciples. But from the 12 disciples, there were moments when he walked with three disciples. <laughs> I like that. If you take your time to read the book of Mark, chapter 5, when Jairus' daughter became very sick and suddenly died, he took with him three disciples, Peter, James, and John. The question, why Peter, James, and John? There were moments when Jesus walked with only three disciples, not twelve. Then there were moments when he did not need those three, he needed only one. When he went to the cross, it was only John who was closer. John only. And it was only John when he said, Mother, this is your son. Son, this is your mother. God values our relationships. Who are those in your company? Who are those in my company? Without much ado, let me take you through to his word. Remember, we cannot do anything without his word. The book of Revelations chapter 19 clearly told us that his name is his word. His name is the word of God. So let us go to his name, the word of God. Thank you. I want to take you through the book of Proverbs. It's quite windy sure you see my camera is moving it's quite windy the weather is quite chilly that's the beauty of God Proverbs chapter 27 Proverbs chapter 27 there's ah, yeah verse 17 Proverbs 27 verse 17 As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Praise God. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Praise God. Who is in your company? Who is in your company? 
take note of that scripture once again. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. That is the scripture we read there. A true friend is someone who helps me, who helps you in your strength, who supports your strength. That's a true friend. Every person has got two natures, a weakness and a strength. A weakness and a strength. Every person has got two natures. If we play with bad people, if we move around with bad people, the dominant weakness in us, take note, the dominant weakness in us will be activated. If we play, if we hang around, if we move around, if we spend our time with bad people, bad company, the, the, the dominant weakness in us will be activated. But if we play or move around with, with, with people of noble character, with people with a sound character, then the dominant strength in us will be activated, will become life. Iron sharpens iron. Who are the people we, we spend our time with? Are they nurturing us? Are they watering us? When we hang around, when we spend our time with negative people, complaining people, murmuring people, then the dominant weakness in us will be active. Listen, the book of Proverbs, I'm on the book of Proverbs 27. For those of you who are joining me lately, Proverbs 27 verse 17. Is iron sharpens iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. I have got a choice to make. I can choose to dump the weaknesses in me. And whatever I choose to lose for God's sake, God will reward me a thousand times more. God will reward me a thousand times for whatever bed I choose to live for his sake. As iron sharpens iron. It is written here. Viewers, it is written here. As iron sharpens iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Every relationship we have sharpens or nourishes either a strength in us or it nourishes a weakness in us. Choose. Choose to have people that nourish your strength, that help you even in your weaknesses. They lift you up. They cancel you. They don't judge, but they will cancel you, carry you along, but they work shoulder to shoulder with your strength. This is what we are talking about here. This is what we are talking about here. Yes, iron sharpens iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Because our lives reflect what is in our heart. Our lives reflect what is in our heart. Our behaviors, it's a reflection of what is in our heart. So we need to spend our time with people 
who can nourish us who can sharpen us who can take us to the next level because our life reflects what is in our heart just like as in water face reflects face so is our life reflects the state of our heart we can never never run faster than our our heart the disposition in our heart i pray this message will find a place in your heart in jesus name may god bless his name just to believe and you'll see in jesus name